up everybody? This is my minimalist car. Here's a tour of everything, some ins and outs, and a couple little tips for you. So there's a lot of reasons why I like this car. Um, one of the first ones is that my mother actually gave this to me as a gift, which is just incredible because she's a sweetheart. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that so that she gets recognition for such an awesome gift. My goal is to get in this car like, like it's a rental. Nothing in it really screams mine. Everything is empty and ready to go for anyone. I could leave the windows open in a busy place. People could get in it and there'd be nothing to steal, like nothing super valuable. It's just a car. In the door, there's absolutely nothing. I keep nothing here, but just some water. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm driving, so you know, like everything is good, you're confident, and then all of a sudden you just start choking on your own spit and it's just like. <coughs> This is always good for that and just, you know, if you grab something to eat, you don't have to buy a soda with it or whatever. And it adds up, you know. There is no steering wheel cover or anything like that. Found this awesome trick from Chris Fick. You know, there's that gunk that's all over steering wheels all the time. All you really need is just soap and water. And it seems so simple, but I've tried like other like car cleaning materials and all that stuff, but literally it was just soap and water that cleans it. It stripped it so clean, it looks like it's brand new. And I did that anywhere there was like grime buildup, all it took was soap and water. No crazy weird cleaners and abrasive uh, brushes or anything. Very, very clean. Then if you look just across the dash, everything is super clean. There's nothing really anywhere. In the front here, I have uh, this weird cavity. So I just filled it with some foam and I just chucked my sunglasses in there so it lays flat because the cavity was just super awkward. It looked, kind of looked like that. So nothing fit straight, it was weird. And then I just keep a beard brush or comb uh, because you know after you take off your mask you have that dent but if you just take a, bra a comb to it really quick the dent goes away. And then in the glove box uh, as you can see I now have foam in there and it was the same concept of filling in a weird cavity it wasn't just a flat square drawer so I just filled it in and I used to have more things but over time I minimize of course so I'm down to just a random pen and a mini tool. This thing is awesome. I'll put a link in. This is a gift also from my brother. He's just awesome dude. So this thing is perfect every day. It has little scissors. And uh, you know, you don't really need much more than that. And then up here in the secret compartment, I have uh, just a wallet with, uh, it has a New York MTA card, a couple bucks in cash, like 20 bucks. And then a headlamp, you know, for any roadside repair. Uh, foam thing because this headlamp was jiggling. So I had it laying around. I don't know. I might chuck it Then I just have some stickers Just some stuff that's going to be going on the back which I'll get to at the end of the video So you'll notice here. This is a USB stick and this is great because I'm not super into like streaming services or anything And this guy plays back this USB stick mp3s perfectly and then right here you will see a like radio input jack and that runs back to this little dongle and I ran this wire through the center cavity so it's nice and clean and this just plugs into my phone by the way this is my own phone case for sale on my website link in description and that fits perfectly in this little console right there and then you'll see underneath this little area is where I keep my mask and there's this little like hygiene zone with sanitation hand sanitizer. This is actually the good stuff, the Purell, the old school stuff. Some just mouthwash. Um, I'm already a neat freak, so that's why I already had that. That's how I found it. And this smell is my absolute favorite smell, both candle or car cleaner. You should definitely pick some up. And then concerning the back seat, it's completely empty. There's nothing underneath. There's Everything is pretty clean. There's the only thing that's messy is this, but I mean, I don't ever see it. And lastly, we have the trunk, which is pretty normal I think and what you'll see here over on the side some brand new bungee cords holding this like milk crate of all of my gym equipment basically it's just weight belt and then inside this box is just like deodorant and things like that just like loose components that's really all that's that there oh and then bonus tip I keep this little paint thing I got from Honda it matches the paint because there's all these little nicks all over the place and I just keep that in the back and I just do a little touch up 
whenever I see something new, you'd be surprised how often new stuff comes up. And then just, you know, might put, make one application one day and then do a second coat another. But yeah, this is a super handy thing to do. Then underneath here, you're gonna see all my paperwork in that blue folder, which is like registration and repair history. And then there's some goo and a ice scraper basically. And that goo is to help me remove this because I like the idea of it being symmetrical. I like it to be clean and symmetrical, so if I remove that, it'll be nice and clean. But, like I mentioned before about the bumper stickers, I'm going to be loading up the back window, window with bumper stickers because everything else is so clean, it's just kind of boring. I think we just need a little bit of spice. Some intentional chaos. Might as well have a little fun. And if I put it on the glass, it's easy to just scrape it off. So yeah, that's it. That's the whole concept is treat it like it's not my car, like it's a rental and anybody can jump in and there's nothing to steal. It's just ready to go. It's maintained, not how comforting it is and no knickknacks and stuff. And yeah, if you like minimalism videos, I'll have a playlist here of all my other minimalist videos. And uh, yeah, until next time, cheers.